Okay, everybody, welcome. I'm so happy to see so beautiful people for different countries. And as I say before, just, just check, just take a breath, just one second at home also, just take a breath, relax, feel the body. We are going to talk about the body and connect with yourself. When we connect, we can synchronize each other. So let's think, okay, I am here at home or here in the place or with the translators in the woods. But just we can connect all of us. So we can share this consciousness. We can share this, this knowledge, this wisdom all together. Okay. Well, thank you very much for the invitation. First of all, Nicholas and all the beautiful people here. I think it's the sixth year that I'm here sharing. So I feel it at home. I feel it. I feel myself with a family. It's a beautiful family. Okay, so my name is Gaston Bacchiani and I am so happy of being here. And um, what I'm going to share with you today is um, my own experience. So please don't believe anything that I share, just listen. And if something of, that I share resonate with you, you can take it, only that. The rest leave it, it's not important for you in this moment or whatever. So I love to share about the emotions. It's the way that I came here to the, um, I would like to share about the emotions because for me, my own experience, the emotions were the ones who brought me to this pranic lifestyle. Um, <clears throat> so if I would like to share with you three questions, three things that I would like that you keep with you is, what is the relationship about emotions and food? What is the things about emotions and relationships because this way that we are okay first the relationship with other people the, the relationship with my own body um because if i'm not clear with my emotions i cannot communicate with my own body i am ignoring it or putting him like this because he cannot talk you know so we are going to learn also how we can connect with the body and how we can utilize the wisdom that our body already has. But we have to be humble. We have to be lovely with the body. And then we can start listening. And the third point that this is very important in the, in the pranic lifestyle, because a lot of people ask me, Kleston, is it so beautiful when I am in a group, in a retreat or in the festival? with everybody with the same or similar mind setting. And when I'm coming back home or with my friends, I have a lot of pressure and I feel rejected or I feel that I don't belong or I feel a lot of things that it's very difficult for me to, to keep going my, my path. So always appears the emotion stuff. So in this festival, we have very beautiful speakers sharing different uh, ways how we can reach this state. And I would like to share with you the feeling technology. This is what happened with me. I'm going to tell you in a couple of minutes what happened, but this is just that you can utilize this tool as a complement for your pranic lifestyle or your conscious lifestyle or whatever you want to call it, to take the responsibility of yourself, of your soul, and of your physical body also. So very short about me, I, why, why I am talking about all this stuff. Uh, I study business administration, I have business my own self, I am entrepreneur. And in this part of my life, I was following a carrot to be in uh, a business, successful business man, uh, millionaire, the, the American dream I was just following. This was my first carrot that I was following until I realized that after doing that, it doesn't complete myself. There was something lacking. 
So I left it. I, I catch it, the point, and I left it. The second one is I went to, I'm, a, I'm an Argentinian. I went to Europe. I went to Germany. And I have the possibility to be an actor and to act on TV. And I have also the possibility to dance and to do uh, tango shows, salsa shows, a lot of things. You know, I dance in the Philharmonie, the Berlin. So a lot of things. So that was my second carrot. I wanted to be famous. I wanted to have the people recognize me and getting nourished for this. Oh, Gaston, you are so cool doing all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. And the life say, okay, you are so cool. You are a little guy from Latin America and you came to Europe and you do ah, all this stuff. I would like to see how you're going to react if I put a situation that you feel anxious safe. And the life put me in a situation that I feel anxious safe and I feel frustrated and I feel I couldn't manipulate the reality anymore. I couldn't change the things anymore there. And I felt like this. I couldn't do anything. And I thought that I could manage everything. I thought that I was Superman. I thought that I can, with the mind control, I can create my reality and do everything like magic. I thought. But life showed me, okay, I would like to see your capabilities. Man. And I couldn't. So that was my second carrot. So I realized that uh, being famous, it doesn't help at all. So. The whole inside, this whole of not being loved or not being seen or, or all this lack that I had or needs that I had, I couldn't buy it as a, an actor or as a, a dancer or whatever. So it doesn't matter the situation itself because I think this is very important. All of us, we are going through always this breaking break even point, this point that the life makes us <coughs> and we cannot handle anymore and we can we fight again that we put all of our energy we try to manipulate the reality to manipulate the people we do all as we can and the left say just relax you don't have the control i have the control just surrender and because of that i felt a lot of injustice in myself and i felt very very angry and i wanted to hit people i wanted to really take someone from the head and like this. And I say, wow, I thought that I was a guy coming from the stars, very enlightened or, you know, uh, like an angel or my soul is blah, 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 blah. A lot of blip, 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 angel, a good guy. But I had inside of myself this feeling that I wanted to punch someone. I wanted to, to, to put all this anger outside of myself, just hitting, hurting someone. And in that moment, I realized that I had to take care of my emotions. So I had the luck to go to a place with a retreat with one guy, because when I was telling my, my story, everybody, everybody said, oh, Gaston, so shit, you, they fucked you up. So you, you, you're you right, it's very injustice. This situation is very, it's very, it's not possible. And it was, but I was in this mental setup and I found one guy that who told me, Gaston, it's not the way that these people are bad people or the life. It's the way you can see it. If you can zoom out and if you can see the pattern inside your subconscious, you are done. You, you jump out of the problem. And I wanted to punch the guy because I was always <laughs> trying to find confirmation. You know, I say, okay, this is my problem. I wanted to say, oh, we're this person also told me, until you don't accept the killer, he told me, that you have inside, this bad thing that you have inside, and you don't embrace it and put it inside your system, you're not going to be completed. So just a short story about Gaston, nothing important. He was uh, under pressure and he wanted to hit people. I wanted to hit people and then the only way that I could start the process is taking the responsibility of my emotions. That's what I would like to share with you, how we can take the responsibility and how we can stop being a victim. That is the first point. So uh, after that, I was working on my emotions nine years and after nine years, one moment, my body say, okay, uh, you are emotionally very aligned, mentally very clear, 
So now you have to stop eating because you are eating bullshit. So we, we have to stop. So I never did any diet or anything. So I start to listen to my body again. I love to listen to my body. I'm a dancer, so I, I'm very sensitive with, with the body. So in that moment, I start to search and I learned about prana, but it was already happening the process in myself. And then when I learn, I relax and I do the 21 days uh, process uh, from just my hand, from the book alone at home. And the body say, yes, 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 yes. I would like to do that. And I did it, the whole process. And after that, I remain drinking liquids. And today I eat some almonds just to chew something and some smoothies, green things, leaves, spinach and all the things. And that's all. But the cool thing was after, and this happened eight years ago, uh, at the beginning of the, uh, 2014. And after that, my body asked me, I would like to, to start to do exercise, to do acrobatics, to do whatever. So I started to do trials in the Olympic uh, Association in Germany. And for five years, I was checking the body what he's able to do in, in, in uh, running, uh, force, uh, coordination, different stuff. And I could see there that the body started to regenerate it because I could do things for much younger people. And I know the Shermans, the, the Shermans, they don't do anything so easy. So it's hard to reach the level that the Sherman have. And I say, how I can be with this age doing things that 25 years old, 30 years old people, myself with 40, 43 years old. So at that moment, something clicked. And then I started to, the body say, well, let's do a triathlon. So I start to do a triathlon without training, drinking all these juices. And I say, well, what? but the body say, don't push me. Don't push me. Listen to me. I bring you there. I remember the, the day before the triathlon, I was like this. And I said, oh, I'm so tired. I cannot do it. Just, just relax, put your shoes and go to the triathlon. And then let's see what happens. And, and always relax, just listening, never pushing. And I remember when I was in the triathlon, when I was running the people were like <laughs> and i was just breathing relax centered of course i wasn't the first guy no i wasn't but i was in the middle we were 600 people and i was uh, 270 in swimming and 280 in, in biking so the body has his own way to recover so when we learn to listen to the body our body bring us to the next level so it's much, it's much easier as we think, but the difficult point is not to think that we know. We need to be humble. And this is the difficult part. We want something. And this is how the question that when I am sharing this with people, the people say, I ask the people, why you would like to be pranic? Or why would you like to stay without food? Oh no, Gaston, when I am a pranic person, I'm not going to feel this thing, that, that thing, or I'm going to be like that, I'm going to be, and I say, well, why we, we don't start over there in the things that you don't want to feel and let's see what happens in the body and then see what happened. Perhaps the body change it. And instead of pushing, listening, okay? So that, that, is, that was my experience. And then I started to share with people in this festival and already in 12 countries, in four languages, just sharing this very simple thing to learn how to feel the emotions with consciousness, how we can integrate, how we can feel these things that we are running the life, living, living the life. And I say there is only two possibilities. So you can feel like a contraction in life, something happened and you could get contracted or you can be expanded. So life, it's like a game, a binary, binary game, two possibilities like this or like this, there is no more. So when we are like this, everything is flowing, love, beautiful people, everything great. The problem is what happened or what should I do when I feel these contractions? And I start this, all this problem. Before the old consciousness of Gaston, I wanted to take it out. That was my confusion. And this is my invitation. Before when I felt contraction here or contraction here, or when someone, or I, when I feel ignore, you know, I send a, a message and, my partner didn't answer and I get uh, contracted. 
I feel rejected and all these things instead of putting the concentration on the other person, how can I change the person? How I can manipulate the situation to recognize that there is a little part of myself who needs to be loved. A little Gaston. I say, there's a little Gaston asking for attention, asking for a hug or asking for something that he needs. And when I accepted that, some people say, oh, let's work the shadows or let's go to the ego and work and we have to kill the ego. And I say, I don't want to kill anybody. I don't want, it's if, if I feel it, that belongs to me. That is in my system, that is in, in my body. Okay, sorry. Oh, sorry, it's Gaston, don't speak so quickly. Thank you all translators there. I'm sorry about that. I get so passionate. Yes. So, what should they, what did I say? I forgot. Ah, the little Gaston, the little Gaston. Okay. So, just to be short, um, I would like to share with you the seven steps that I realized after the change that it happened to me. Okay, and put it these seven steps together and said the seven step of the feeling technology. It's like a, if you do the steps, you're going to reach your next level of consciousness. Very sure that you need to understand how to do that. Okay, so the first one is uh, stopping of being victim, learning that it's like I am living the life like this, we have to do like this, going inside. You know, if I if I see my Bart in the in the mirror, I don't put the soap in the in the mirror and I shave the mirror. You know, so it doesn't matter how much soap I put there. I shall break the mirror. It's always appeared the, the the face of Gaston with beer. So I need to put it here in my face. So I I have to work here. If there is something in the uh, around me that I don't like it, I have to work here. It's difficult because nobody teaches us. We, we learn how we can, we, we develop a strategies to how the people can like us, how can I be a, a normal guy that, that the people say, oh, Gaston is a cool guy or whatever, or, you know, manners. But if I have, if I feel pain of being rejected or of being alone, or of not being loved, I have to take care of that. That is the, the good news and the bad news at the same time. So we have to see how we can do that understanding why is happening the emotions and i have these things i love to do it with more people but the thing is like what i realize is that i am living my life like this okay so when i'm looking at you i look all of you orange you know so i say oh this is the orange is the truth so this is this is actually only my truth because i meet other person that has his truth or her truth and i say no you are confused you know everybody here is orange look at this can you see it and the other person say no gaston everybody here is violet say no no you are confused no you are confused so we start to fight we start to say no you are wrong no you're wrong and we put a lot of energy in trying to convince someone else that the truth or the reality is only my glasses. So first of all is to understand that these glasses, you cannot see them. You can see it because these glasses are in our subconscious. And these glasses are the res they're responsible for 90% of our actions all the day. 90% of what we say to the other people. So if I if I answer you, I am answer you in my orange world. And he has violet world. So he's going to answer in violet. So I'm trying to convince him that the world is orange or in this way. And he's trying to convince and we never finish until one of both open the mind and say, well, life could be orange and life could be violet at the same time. I say, ooh, ooh, Gaston, so there is no one truth? No. There is so many truths as people in the world can interpret. Interpret. So if we are seven 
uh, billion people in the world, there, there are 7 billion truths at the same time in the world. So the question is, am I ready to accept 7 billion truths at the same time in my inner space? Or I am going to, to block myself and to fight any, everybody and trying to convince that the other people. Thank you. <laughs> trying to convince other people that the truth is orange. So this is a lot of waste of energy. So if you get this point, check. You don't need to try to convince anybody because everybody has the right to have their own glasses with their own color. So where are they coming from? They are coming from, from my culture. They are coming from, from my family, my parents, from the school, from the, the place I was born. And uh, am I ready to detach them? Am I ready to release them? If we are, I show you how you can do that. So second step is understanding that the, these glasses generates my reality. What I call reality in the world is because I have these things in front of me that I cannot see. So number three is, okay, Gaston, I understand. I'm not convinced, but keep talking. Okay. So the third point is because this is in the subconscious, it's not accessible. I cannot go with the mind to the subconscious. It's not possible for definition. So you can try to do a lot of things in your mind, but you, it's very difficult. Could be with hypnosis, it could be with things like that, but you don't have control of this. So what I realize is that if I use, if I use a very good friend of mine, he can help me. And this friend is my body. So when I utilize my body to see where are these mental structures, I can start to detach them from the subconscious. And what that means, that means that when I have a, a talk with someone or I am in relationship with someone and suddenly start to get a contraction somewhere, that means that there is some glasses in my subconsciousness that I don't know that I have them, but they are showing me here in the throat, in the chest or in the stomach. So I invite the people in the number three to utilize the body to scan because these mental structures, you can follow them through the body because they show the show you where are they. The 80% of the people we start making the integration in the throat, in the plexus, solar plexus on the stomach. How is it for you? When you feel emotions, do you feel it in these places? Do you feel it like this? It's something that you can, some people say, Gaston, I don't feel anything. I don't feel nothing, it's a none. Because we had too much pain that also our system deconnect, deattach. So it's, uh, it's a, um, yes, it's a, a defending program that we have not to feel. But when we have a yes, the body start to feel. And that is the number four. Because the people say, okay, Gaston, I understand. I am not going to be victim. I understand the mental structures. I understand. Thank you for opening. Uh, I understand the, the body. But the fourth thing, the fourth station, it's very difficult because the people say, Gaston, everything that I feel, I don't want to feel it. Could you help me? Could you give me something that I can take it and I not feel it anymore? What can I take it? What can I take? And I say, well, the only thing that I know that you can take is the responsibility. If you take the responsibility, you can finish it. If you don't take the responsibility of the emotion, the motion is going to knock the door day by day, situation by situation. You can change a partner, 
But if you feel rejected, you're going to keep feeling rejection in the next relationship and in the next relationship until you don't stop and you say, I want to feel it till the end. It's going to be repeated. So the fourth station is, can I, uh, do I have a yes to feel it or not? If you don't have a yes, it's not going to happen, the integration. So it's not going to work. We are trying to turn on the, yeah. Okay, it's beautiful. It's full of people here. We are all like this. Um, I show later, all of you. Um, so after having a yes, so that is the, the, the integration. And I would like to share with you something that a lot of people like it. So when, when someone says something to me and suddenly I discovered that there is a contraction here, instead of trying to, 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 to fight the other one, because you say something and I feel hurt, you hurt me. So you are the bad guy, or you are the bad woman. So I need to defend myself and to, to, to attack. So you can do that the next 1000 years, or you can start to be aware that there is something inside of you, some pressure. And what I learned is that if I take care of that, and if I, instead of trying to put it out, if I relate it and accept it, something happens. So what happened is this, I say, oh, what is that? Hi, hello, Gaston, I am your emotion. I am here and I would like to connect with you. So when the emotion is there, why are you laughing, Shuttle Gaston? You have a lot of emotion also there. Little Gaston, little part of you. So, Gaston, can you tell them? Yes, of course. They are very important. Yes, please remember us. So, before, when the emotion was talking to me, <laughs> thank you, translator. The emotion was talking to me like someone say something, and the emotion came to. So I was trying to and say, no, please feel me. And I say, no, go away. And the old Gaston did a lot of rituals. I went to a lot of healers. Can you heal myself? Because I have something here that I cannot talk my truth. Because years ago, when I wanted to take my truth, I was like, and the people say, Gaston, why you are talking like that? It's, if I say something stupid, I can't talk. But when it was my truth, it was like, something happened here, there was breath, and there was an information there. So say, okay, so start to relate and accept it, and you start to fight or to heal it or whatever it is. Just I learned to open my arms and to say, okay, you can stay here with me. And in that moment that I accept it and I embrace it, say, thank you very much, Gaston. Oh. And the emotions start to relax. And when it start to relax, these emotions start to, to be there available for me. Before it was just checking me or pressing me here, it was against me. But when I accept it and I feel it till the end with consciousness, it integrates. That is the best verb that I could describe the situation. Before I was trying to put it out, to clean it, but now I am integrating. And the same energy, the same electric magnetic energy that was creating the contraction in the muscles are now available in the system, flowing, and start to regenerate the system. Do you understand how we can recycle the emotions, how we can utilize them, how we can change them from our enemies to, to our allies, the people who can support us? So, and I'm going to give you quickly a little idea also. The old Gaston had before, imagine that I was living in the little, in the little house for one person. And in the morning when I woke up, when I wake up, I open the door and I have a lot of people trying to come inside the house. And I say, oh no, no, there is no place. And I close the door. 
and they say, we want to come in, we want to come in. And so I was holding the door. Mm -hmm. Let us come in, no. And all of them are part of myself, are part of my energy. And I was rejected them. So when I realized that, I said, okay, 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 relax. The first one, was, the first one entered and, poof, and I closed. So I, I, I opened myself to feel only one emotion in one moment. And I let, okay, okay, you want to be, yes, please, please. Yes, please, 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 yes, please. Okay, go, go ahead. <sighs> and I do the number five, but that's just the integration. Integration is just having this surrender and breathe. You know, let it be it or whatever it feels. Squeeze my, my chest and breathe and open, and breathe and open, and breathe and open. One minute, two minutes, five minutes, all the time that it needs. And after that, the whole thing suddenly, I don't know, and when release, the energy remains available. And the cool thing is, it's like, okay, what I did is just generate a new room for this emotion, for this, like my consciousness. I put it in. And instead of trying to put in my force to not let it in, I, I put it in. So then this energy say, hello, Gaston, how can I help you? Well, would you like to be with me and do other room for other guy outside? Oh, it's lovely. I will do it. So the second one, please, bluff, can the second emotion bluff, bluff, close? Because otherwise it arrives all the emotions at one time. It's not possible. Yes. With this part that was before outside hitting my door now helps me to put the second one and then the third one and then the fourth one. And step by step, I start to create rooms for all my emotions. And I started one level and then second level and then third level, and I put all the emotions in place inside my consciousness. I started like this with a very little tiny house, and then I, I, I keep working, but now, now I feel like I have a five stars hotel with a lot of rooms and I can walk that I already integrated. Instead of blocking the person or judging the person, I say, oh, I know that. No, no, no. It's, uh, first floor, 428. I have it already in my system. So I can be with you. I can feel with you this pain, this sorrow, or whatever you are feeling. So that is so beautiful. And this is my invitation to you. When you start to expand your inner room and start your own five star hotel, step by step, emotion by emotion. And you can share with everybody. You can name it. You cannot judge anymore. Because when you see this pain in the other person, you you see yourself and you say Oh, you have so little, so little or know it. So in my house, in my consciousness, I can embrace your little part. And the person say, oh, Gaston, you are not judging me? No, I can embrace as you feel frustrated or you feel unjusted or you feel anger. The whole idea of this is to be humble, to instead of trying to put it out all our little friends, all our little parts, this is also very visual. Before I was trying to do like this. It was trying to, to talk in with me. I was like, wow, until I realized that this part belongs to me also. And this part, you know, if you see your body, you have opposites in your body. This arm is doing this thing. And exactly the opposite is doing the other part of the body. So we are symmetric, exactly opposites. So why we think that we have to go one way, we need to learn to evolve our consciousness to put the opposites inside of the system, that the opposites are 
ourselves too. So if we can expand our consciousness to include, to integrate exactly opposite things, now we are here. You know, we can, we can expand. Okay, this is the number five. No, the four is uh, taking a yes, having a yes. And the number five is the integration, the emotional integration. It's very, when you are living your life and you are talking with someone or doing something and you discover that there is something doing here, your little emotions showing you, trying to connect with you. Instead of trying to ignore or trying to drink alcohol, they do like or drugs, nom, nom, nom. then the emotions come back again. So we cannot put down the emotions with food. All of us, we learn that, you know, because as baby, when we have pain, we drink. So this muscle says, okay, I feel a pain, something in the body, I need to utilize this muscle. I want the, the teeth of my mama or milk. Okay. So we need to deprogram, deattach this stimulus that we are chewing. Like when it was anxious, the, the body says, go somewhere, try to put something. Okay, okay, relax, relax, relax. Okay, breathe, breathe. So I invite you, before you attack the refrigerator or, or go to somewhere to, to, to kill the cheese or whatever you, you see, just breathe, feel it, and make the space. And then be humble and ask your body if it needs something, okay? Because normally our needs are the little parts, the little Gastons, they don't feel uh, recognized or they don't feel love or they don't feel a lot of things that we, that we feel and we have. Okay, after doing the integration of this body sensation, we have something that I love to show with this, that this is our needs. It's like a tube, you know, that I don't know that they have, but it's searching for, for example, if I don't feel um, good enough, for example, I search for recognition. So it's like trying to connect someone who give me recognition, like a little monster, you know, like I show you, I show you with someone. Someone could help me. Uh, let me see if I can do it with someone. Um, can we do like this? Because this is very important also. Okay, attention water. Uh, you can, can you help me? You? Yes, come here. So the, the, this is the beautiful people here. Okay, so stay here with me. So look at this and be honest with you. Okay, so I show you with Gaston. So Gaston wanted to have recognition. Okay, the little Gaston, beep, 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 here. When someone doesn't recognize me, so it's Sam too trying to find someone. And suddenly he look at me and say, oh, Gaston is cool. Oh, I like the long hair, the guy from Argentina, or whatever, 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 blah, 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 blah. A lot of adjectives that my two unconscious say, oh, recognition, lift. Could you, could, you, could you take it? Thank you. So. And I start to say, oh, cool. She said, so, oh, I really love her. She said, very spiritual or oh, whatever, you know, blah, 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 blah. Because I am sucking. Good, eh? what you say about that? Yes, only water. Sucking, sucking. And if, for example, she has a little, what's your name? A little Irina felt, for example, um, that need uh, whatever protection because when she was a little, the father wasn't at home or whatever it happened, she feels protection. Say, oh, she has also things, all of us. And 
okay? It, she, felt, she felt it there and say, oh, this guy is one meter 85. Oh, he can protect me. And she didn't know that. But suddenly, because I am one meter 85, I'm just giving her um, lack of protection subconscious all of this happening every day to all of you subconsciously so we say oh cool irina i like you and she said oh i like you too oh it's so cool oh we have good uh, partners oh yes and then we say oh this is unconditional love what yes it's unconditional love because she's so cool and she loved me and i love her oh no Conditional love, rien, pas du tout, no. Because what happened then, one day Irina wants to go that way and myself wants to go that way. She said, oh, I would like to visit my friends for a birthday. So she said, she go like they, Mirko, could you, could you, Mirko, could you help me with this? Because the people are not looking. Okay, thank you, Mirko. So Irina wants to go that way to visit her friends and I want to visit my friends or to go to soccer play or whatever. And she said, oh no, Gaston, I want to go that way. Oh, okay, could you visit? I would like to visit my family. So I say, oh, okay. If I go there, what happened is that Irina goes her place and my tube is going to be out because I go there because I cannot go because it, uh, 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 if Irina stop nourishing my need, I'm going to have a problem, okay? Because I don't want to feel my lack of attention. So I say, okay, Irina, because I love you, I go with you. So we go to eat with her family. And I put my face like this. I say, oh, your family is so beautiful too. But I want to be there. My soul is telling me I want to be there. So it's my truth is going to be there. But be I need to go next week, the same thing. She said, Gaston, let's go to do to other friends. I said, no, let's go to my friends to see the soccer or whatever. No, no. Okay, because I love you. I suffer for you. Love you, and Kali. I go with you. <laughs> and I say, the second one. So I start to count and to put a lot of, you know, accountability. Okay, I suffer one time and suffer. And the next weekend, when she said the same thing, ah, stop. I cannot anymore. I go to my friends and I say, you know what? Irina is manipulating me. She, she has full power. She, she's the woman that I, I say, I would like to go there. And, and she say, no, and I have to go there. Is because of my need. You can take the responsibility of your own need and you can integrate it. And I say one day, Irina, okay, you can go to your family or friends. I'm going to go my way. So I deattach this, I reconnect my system, I feel with consciousness of being abandoned or being not recognized. <sighs> Number five in integration. I feel it, I feel it until I am again connected and aligned. And then I can say, well, I can feel that you perhaps feel uh, insecure, but I am here not to protect you, to be with you, that you can do your own integration yourself. So when we reach this level, we get to the next level of relationships partnerships. I am responsible for all my needs and you are responsible, but I can feel with you. I'm not rejecting her. So I, I, I can support your integrations too. And then we can be together. And this is unconditional because I'm not putting my needs on her. I don't do in her my mother or someone who take care of the little Gaston and the other way around also. So can you see the can you see the point? Because we are fighting on that. So when we learn to integrate our needs, the whole system starts to feel better and better and better 
And we started like this at the beginning, a very small place, being very shaky. And when we start to open ourselves, our consciousness, we do like this. And I take my place and I can invite the other person to take the place also. And when I expand myself, it's not like we are hitting each other. She can expand also. So like two bubbles at the same time, we can expand. And then we can live our life not, not uh, complaining about the other person is manipulating me or doing things or whatever. Say, I take the responsibility and I do my life and I follow my life, how I feel it. So we start clear somehow. I need more time. I do retreats seven days to explain all this. So and now I do, I have to do it in 45 minutes. <laughs> this, is, this is the main idea, okay? Thank you, Irina. Thank you very much for your help. And, and after that, just to finish, i stay here. And after that, when we have the clear inner space and we are open and relaxed. Oh, sorry, don't, don't feel jealous. I was just uh, <laughs> explaining, explaining. Uh, the, the, the important thing is now we can back to the society. Now we can, we can come back to life and be open, not more close. So we can be open and we can feel each other and we can support every process in every person in every moment. And always checking what is, what's going on in myself. Do I feel good? Do I feel relaxed? Do I feel myself open? If it is yes, I can share this with the other people. That is why the whole thing, I call it sharing clarity. It's not wisdom, it's not something special, it's because I feel myself clear. And I think the clarity is something so beautiful because it's that for each person is something different. But for each person, it's very important to feel clear himself or herself. So this is the, the end very quickly. One question, number six, I have here, number six is the, the needs, understanding the needs, I taking the responsibility of the needs. And number seven is sharing your clarity. You come back to the society. So remember the first one is like this. I work like a butterfly process and then I evolve and then I come back with clarity to be with you open. Instead of doing like this, now I'm like this. To reconnect. Yes. Some question. I have a question here. May I ask you a question? Yes, Tommy. Um, hmm. Very good. Yes. See, yes, very good question. He's asking, Gaston, what you say is, uh, I have to keep all the mind always checking if word, if questions. I invite you not to think, just to feel. It's a little bit different. It's not thinking what I did is I'm always scanning here and observing when I meet someone, what I feel in this part of the body. And if I feel a contraction here, automatically I take the responsibility and I share with you, I feel a contraction in my chest. And then uh, I make the space and integrate it. And then I can answer your question. For example, if you ask me, Gaston, could you do this or could you do that? But if I feel contracted, my answer is going to be like, <laughs> because I feel attacked, for example, or I feel uh, fear. So it's just observing the body. As much as consciousness as we have to observe the body, it helps us to, to communicate better with the other person. Because otherwise, you are putting your frustration on the other person. It, it is clear? Yes. Observe. <laughs> it's a good question. He, he asked, you never rest. It's like, you know, it's like when you start doing, uh, riding a bike, at the beginning, you are like this riding a bike, correct? Because it's so difficult. Oh, okay. no, how is the balance? And in the moment that you get the balance, 
you jump on the bike and you don't think anymore about the balance. The balance is, is aligned in your system. Or driving a car, at the beginning, you don't understand all the stuff. But in the moment that you start to allow your system to recalibrate, it's the same thing like pushing. Do I have a contraction? No, good. How I feel myself, I answer. Oh, nice to see you. It's like you open the life into two screens. What I feel here and what I observe there. And when I observe and I feel quick and I say, stop, because I know that I talk about my contraction and I don't want to book out my shit to other person. I say, okay, hold on, I need to take care of that. The little Gaston first. Then when the little Gaston is relaxed, then I can answer, for example. It's other level, it's much, much deeper. When you train this, you're going to find that you can get much deeper relationships, much deeper talks, a way to communicate with other people. It's so amazing. I can only invite you to do that. It's so cool. So is there is other question there in Zoom? I can sit. Guess I'll see now. Morgan? How is um, everything? No, if there's another question from the room, you could have, we've got two more minutes the before room? we have to close. Yes, thank you. Okay, we have two more minutes. One question more, yes? Okay, beautiful question. Yes, so the question is, uh, how you, I, I repeat it, tell me if I understood correctly, how you work with the identities in yourself to change the motion? Ah, okay. How I realize that change. Okay. I the question is how I realize how my identity change when someone tells me something and I get an emotion. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Mm, the, the answer for me is that I don't lose myself thinking. I just feel it. I just only, if there is some contraction somewhere in my body, that means that there is something, identity or patterns or whatever you want to call it in my subconscious that I have no access. I can, I can put energy to see who made it to me when I was a child, if I was abused or bullied or whatever, I can try to search for the story. Or if something happened in another life, I can do that if I would like. But I suggest, do you feel it? Yes, it's in your body at the moment, just feel it together. I am here to feel it with you, that's all. And when we feel it together, the identity or whatever it is till, till the end the contraction because the cool thing is let's say for example something is choking me checking me here i don't get air you know like <laughs> i did integration with people saying guess what i cannot breathe okay don't worry let but how what do you feel it's like a hand checking okay let the hand check you till the end till you don't get any air anymore it's okay and keep breathing at the same time both and the mind say, okay. <laughs> and the whole thing happened till the end. And then you keep breathing and it's like you die. This kind of identity dies somehow, if you would like. For me, it's like you make an integration and the mental structure dissolves. And the cool thing is once you dissolve that if someone is saying, oh, you are from this country, or for this culture or whatever, and you dissolve the pattern in the subconscious, they can keep saying the same sentences, I swear. And there is no contraction anymore. So you don't have even think to change your identity. I am who I am. And you keep opening, and you keep opening, and you keep opening till the next action. You keep opening. And the game is how can I get seven billion point of view at the same time inside of my consciousness. <laughs> but again, 
Thank you so, so much, Thank Gaston. You. What, what a beautiful presentation. This is another um, person who is presenting here at Eden Pranic Center who is, who is sharing with us his perspective on emotional stability. So we really are getting a message that emotional stability is a big part of the pranic lifestyle and the pranic journey. Thank you everyone who joined us here live. We've got a bunch of people outside as well, gathered in groups with translators and many people oh. online. Thank you Gaston for such a beautiful and animated presentation. And now we will apparently go and have some dancing happening. We're having such a beautiful time at the Eden Pranic Center with the World Pranic Festival. Thank you, Gaston, for a lovely presentation. Thank you, everyone.